hello everyone how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my balcony all right so i am out here today playing hide and seek with the rain because i came out to cook and the rain came down so i run inside put my stove inside that's my cold stove okay so the sun came up back so i carried back out so that's where I am right now. So today I'll be making a quick pot. One pot is soup. It's chicken soup with pumpkin. So let's get started. All right guys, so I'm starting with my chicken. So I'm using a piece of chicken breast, but you can use chicken foot, you can use chicken back, but this is gonna work today. I have to go work today. So, let the ring off. Let the ring off. All right. So because it's soup, I just want small pieces. I need to have a little bit of bone to flavor it too. So, I have soup without bone. Because the bone gives it the best flavor ever. So, little pieces. So I put in my chicken first and I'm just going to cover it. I'm going to wash my board so I can get to the food. So I rinse them off. Give it a little second rinse. all right so we gotta take off the skin because we don't want the pumpkin to actually mash out let it boil and if we keep on the skin then it will stay together so i take off most of the skin I'm going to dice, I'm going to dice it up now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of all of that. So, I'm going to just chop it up. Eh? There's a pumpkin soup still, so... I'm going to see the pumpkin knife. Eh? And the pumpkin look nice and dry, which is good. Huh? That means the soup have a rich. If it nice and dry, then the soup is gonna be rich.
Where are you going? Come back right here. Okay. What? Alright. So, home green and carrot in the pot. So now it's time to peel the yam. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I'll be peeling the yam. Alright, so I think this is yellow yam. Okay, let me get some water. Slice the yam like this. I think it's easier for me to peel, and I slice it like that. A little bit easier. I remember said the yam scratch, so you know you don't want it to get on top of your skin right here. In the middle of your hand is fine, but. Uh, the yam, you try not to get it touch here, it will scratch like crazy. So just take off the skin, put it in the water. When you put it in the water, the color, you see the spark, the color changing, the oxidizing. So if I had a little lime, I could just squeeze it in the water too. That will help it to keep the color. But because we are hurry today, it's fine. It's fine if it have a little color. So I'm just going to peel it. And then I'm going to wash them off. the last piece. Hi. Oh, Mitchell, please. Are your hands stronger than mine? I reckon it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna wash off my yam. <laughs> Not plenty yam in but I'm gonna put dumpling in there to make it pop. I'll give it another wash. All right, so this should be clean enough now. I'm just going to cut them into small pieces. And 
And after you cut up the yam, make sure you wash hand because you don't want to touch your face after this. And I can feel the rain dribbling. Alright. We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna put. Oh, I need some scallion. Let me go and cut some scallion. Alright, so I cut this from the garden so you know it's nice and fresh. Nice and fresh, right from my container garden. So let's take it over to the table. All right, I'm just gonna pull off a little dry part them at the end. When you hear that look dry, me just break them off. All right, so so rinse them off. I remember so when you make chicken soup, you can put water in it. You can put cocoa. All of them stuff there. You know what I mean? All them little things I can go in it. Chocha make it nice. Cut up or anything, just have a church in my pot and come like say, I don't know the pot, so I boil it. Come pot, I must say, really know which you know. Let me get my spoon. When you start to boil it, it look better, man. Don't make it scary off. Alright, smell like it all stop well now. You can feel the heat I push out. Alright, so put a little salt in it. Eh? About that for now. And guys, guess what these are? They are pimento seeds. Can't have soup without pimento seeds. Alright, guys, I'm gonna make some dumpling. So, use some flour. Now make plenty, but about that. And then, I put in one little bit of caramel. Just a little top of caramel. I'm gonna need some salt. So, it's a sea salt still in there. What do you do there? You can use it by the cookie to fill up there now. No, no different salt. Alright. Since it's a sea salt, and of course, let me see if I can. Now the salt is added. Alright. And uh, the dumpling now is spoiled for me today now. Because I'm going to add my water slowly. Slowly. Still alright. 
Come on. This floor here feel nice and tight. So you must don't dump it never heavy. Perfect. It is perfect. Alright, very good. You can clearly say I have done well with the floor. You know, one little roll and press. <laughs> All right. So, let me sweat first. Hello. Guys, the sun hot out here. Scotch bunny pepper. I'm going to taste it and see if I need to take out the pepper that I can smell it. Open a burst. Okay, guys, so I have a little cock soup mix. And I continue right here. I'm going to put some season up tonight. So, not plenty, but yeah. What time for the pack? We need some water on it. The pipe. I don't want to give up. But so I mix it out to make sure say when you go to the pot, everything melts out properly. Any long parcel. Alright. So it's a good pot now. Let me do it with my big spoon. Oh, it's pot look good. Still like the sun still in. Start to get a little color now. I look like soup now. The color. Alright. Cover it up back. Alright, guys, this is all. I'm going to take the pot off of the fire. I'm going to have to open it and check it again. Alright, I'm going to open it and check it. Ooh, it looks good. Come on, the cameraman. Go look at it. Yes. And guys, it smells good. Alright. Alright, I'm going to take the pot off of the fire. This way that's enough. Okay guys, so first I need to take out all these unwanted stuff. Like so I need to take out the time and whatever skeleton I can pick up with my spoon.
Das war ja keine Feinverlauung. Alright, so let me see. Guys, this is so hot. Even if we want to taste it now, we can't taste it now. Alright, so let me show you another one. I'm gonna make them breeze out first, guys. Them too hot. Alright, guys, so now it's time for us to taste the soup. And I have Dana here. Alright. And she will tell me the truth. She's not gonna hide nothing. But before we go on, please, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn notification bell. Yeah, do the right thing. Alright, so now it's time to. Okay, so before we try the soup this is a bowl cozy and if you want to know how I made this bowl cozy I'm gonna put a link below all right so this is for Dana come on Dana tell me if you see it wait let's see all right first bite you have to know yeah good it is rich <laughs> it's rich. All right. It's delicious. Delicious. Okay, great. Alright, let me use a pot holder. Ready, done. Alright. Also, this pot holder, I'm gonna put the link below how I made the pot holder. You can check out that. Alright, yes, it tastes good. It tastes good. Mmm. Scotch bunny. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just cut bunny too. Okay, right. Pimento. Mm. It's good. It's really good. You think it costs to about anything for the flavor? Yeah. I personally think that. <laughs> Alright. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect lunch. Perfect lunch, guys. Mel one try dumping right as so. well. Tough. Nice and tight dumpling. It's good. It's a lot of flavor. flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of flavor. And as you would know, the scotch bonnet. Yeah. Better job. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. The, the scotch bonnet started short. <laughs> so, guys, hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment. Make sure you subscribe and turn notification bell. And until I see you in my next video. Bye bye.